Hello and welcome to a tutorial brought to you by yours truly, Acid Rage. Um, today we're going to be talking about a uh, quick start and what is the best route to uh, start on a, s a survival server with. So most people start with an Earth-like or a Moon or Titan drop pod because it's easy. Um, you can use wind power and there's an abundance of ores around you besides platinum and uranium to start with but these are not always the best in a pvp server because you're very easy to find so we're going to remedy that and show you the quickest and easiest start on an official server in space engineers that is in survival so Space pod is going to be the best route because it's already a large grid ship and I'll show you why that is going to benefit us in a short moment. So let's go ahead and spawn in and we'll get started. You always want to check your flight seat as soon as you spawn. You will have a data pad and it gives you a GPS coordinate to a nearby station. So we're going to create the GPS marker, click OK and then in your GPS it will show up. And when I get to this, I'm hitting the K button, GPS tab, and then you see the station here. So one of the first things that we want is our drill. So we wanna focus on this progression tree to unlock our drill. That is going to make us move a lot quicker. We'll be able to gather much more resources uh, at a faster rate and essentially you know, we will jumpstart our playthrough um, and we won't be hand mining, which is the best part. So first we want to build a landing gear. So we're going to place that into our build planner and make sure that is down on our toolbar. And I have mine on number nine. So you'll see there's a couple different variations. Any of these will work to unlock it. We want to use the least resources. So a magnetic plate is five plates, one motor, three construction comps, and ten plates. That's not so bad. A small grid is even less. We have lots of materials that we're not going to need on this space pod. So I already have a flashlight. I don't need this light. We're not going to use this air vent. Who needs a pressurized cabin anyways, am I right? So now, with that done, we're gonna come out here into space, place our magnetic plate, and build it. We've unlocked new blocks. And you can just grind it down to keep the components. So now, we go back into our progression tree. So, by unlocking the magnetic plate, we now unlock this whole tier. The refinery is what we need next, because unlocking the landing gear unlocked our refinery, which then will unlock our drill. So now we need to find a place to put a refinery. This so happens that right under this block, there's a perfect connection for our refinery. The whole upper portion of the ship is connected so you don't have to worry about removing this section in the middle because it will still function as a ship without it. So just for ease of access, I'm going to delete this block as well. So now we have enough space where we can place our base refinery. And we'll start welding it up and it looks like we need five computers and steel plates and that's all that we need to finish it. So I'm gonna take most of these steel plates and then add them to re the refinery. And we don't have to get it all the way completed. We just have to get it past functional. Now I don't like to remove these blocks all the way because then it's hard to walk around in the ship. So grind them down, leave one plate. If you grind too far, just replace one just like I did there. So 
We're going to keep adding our steel plates. Okay, and now it looks like we need five computers. So, a quick and dirty method to do this. We have an H2O2 generator here. And because we're dealing with a fresh spawn situation, we don't really need this right now. We will need it, but we don't need it right now. So, I'm going to grind it down just below functional, and that gives me my computer. We have enough to weld up our basic refinery. Okay. So now we check our progression. And because we built the refinery, now we've unlocked the drill. Because the drill needs a forward facing position, we're going to get rid of this window. We have enough to place it, and now we need steel plates, computers, motors, steel tubes, and construction components. Now, this is where we start to go into salvage mode and start looking at the ship and start getting rid of things that we don't need. We don't need this third thruster, so we're going to grind it down. Inventory full. Our construction components are taken care of. We need more tubes, more motors, and more plates. We have two thrusters down and one thruster up. So we can do away with one of these for now to get the remainder of our steel tubes. Inventory. Looks like we need five motors and about 130 steel plates to get us drilling. We have two doors. We don't really need either of them. So let's grind them down. We're just gonna go around and take as many plates as it takes from these armor pieces to finish our drill. Should be darn near enough. 26 more. Okay, so we can get a few more out of that, a few more out of this, a few more out of here and here. So now we need one computer. To get that computer, I'm going to grind down the oxygen tank for just a moment. And you'll see what I'm going to do in a second. So that will get our drill 100% save for a few plates. And we don't need to build those just yet. So now we're going to get a little more stone um, in order to make the computers that we need to finish our oxygen tank and our H2O2 generator. And now all your conveyor systems are connected and you can drill away at your heart's content. The refinery kicks on. The next video will show you how to Merge block your respawn pod onto an asteroid so that you can keep it forever. Let me know in the comments if you want to see anything specific, and we'll try to make it happen. 
Thank you for watching and peace out.